Out of the net. Oh. Good job. Uh, not quite my usual net job, but it works. Hey. Nice. Well executed, brother. Get another beast for your first beast of the season. Execution and mechanics. Look at that. Look at that perfect hook set, boys and girls. Little Hazadong shaft, first flip on that color change. Look at that. The hook was perfectly placed. Welcome back hey. to Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, what a special, special place. Oh, what what is what is this, brother? A little spotted cow. Ah, why don't you tell the viewers that aren't familiar with spotted cow all about this? It's probably the best beer because you can only get it here. I don't know if that's the key, <laughs> but it's pretty damn good. It is, brother. Cheers, Cheers to that. We have broken the skunk, and this is actually a pretty good beer. I used to drink a lot of beer in my twenties. It is. Every time we're in this part of the country, we drink spotted cow. Toast to you guys. I think there's a fish in the back side of it. See behind the main rock? Yeah. Both the dark spots there. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Go ahead, lift up. Oh, we had other ideas. This one's got some spunk. Not having any part of us. Man, these guys are strong, huh? 
Not much you can do with them sometimes. Just gotta hold on, let them tire out. Oh, we just spotted this fish. I think I bought this one this time. Yeah. And uh, Chris dropped the Hazadong Shad on a drop shot on him. Oh, and she's in the ranger net. First clip. Chartreuse green pumpkin. Once again, man, look at that hook set. Perfect, right in the top lip. Dude, that thing is a beast. Beautiful fish. I need to build on this thing. Yeah. Here you go, bud. Nice job. Dark, tall one, man. Yeah. I mean, I know it's beginning of summer, but it's football season, right? That's right. New year. Darkness, man. I love these fish. So beautiful. Yeah, that's another four pound class fish. Fish of a lifetime in most parts of the country, that's man, right. for a lot of people. This one's got some spirit. Let's get him back in the water. Good work, bud. Great execution on that. Perfect flip. Tiger King. The Tiger King. <laughs> She gone. What's up, brother? How you living, man? Dude, I must be living right. It's two. Awesome. She gone. Can't do it any better than that. That was pretty good, brother. Great execution. Did everything right. Patient on the net. Got a nice uh, quality smallmouth on the board. So that's two fish. Lots of time ahead of us. Winds kind of died down just a hair. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled and keep casting and see what we can find. Hey guys, I don't know if you guys can see that stick sitting right there, but there's a pretty good sized smallmouth circling it. It's on the left side, swimming right upwind now, facing up into the wind. It just chased uh, Chris's jig halfway to the boat. Let's see if we can get this thing to engage, get that hook in its mouth definitely relating to that piece of wood. They should try something different, screw head maybe. Usually when they uh, want it, they'll eat it that first or second go. But, uh, always experimenting out here, guys. Read the body language of the fish. That first pass, that fish came out hot, followed it up, showed almost no interest. So we're gonna show them something a little different. Put a little bit more vibration in the water, a little bit of flash with that screw head. Got the purple haze color. Let's see what happens. It's still on the stick. Hasn't moved. Fish is definitely still there. Wow, this fish has got a lot of self-control. And they said these northern smallmouth are dumb. Keep it pretty high. Huh, you know what, throw that pop max on him, man. Let's see what happens, just cause. I got one right there. Just going through the motions, guys. Going through that process of elimination. This didn't work, try something else. If that didn't work, try something else. Obviously the fish is there. Okay. Depends on the temperament of the fish. See if it reacts that big, loud, obnoxious pop max. Some kind of reaction. Here it comes. Oh, you're foul hooked. Okay, just swim off to the left. Fight right back on that tree. Yeah, you just turn. Oh, there's two of them. Huh, another cruiser just popped. 
popped up on him. It's crazy, these things are so big and dark, you can see them. All right, pick that up, fire that hair, you'll get that dock. Try not to hit the boat though, because the people are on the shoreline. <laughs> well, that's a good sign. We got some fish uh, up shallow and moving. Some activity here. I'm gonna go back to that finesse jig, see if we can get uh, the second fish that showed up to react, possibly. But things are changing, water temps climbing every day, guys. We're seeing a little bit more activity with crayfish coming out of their burrows and scurrying around, daylight. Uh, there's pollen all over the boat and my truck that my man Max just washed. So, spring is starting to progress here in the north woods. That was a good sign. We didn't get those fish to bite, but that's the most activity that I've seen in the last four days. So, here we go. All right, mid-afternoon update. We've uh, counted a couple big cruisers. No interest in our offerings. And came across the shallow fish here off the end of this stick. Real dark. Not really moving much. Chris is going to drop a hazadong on him, see what happens. First attempted cast. Real dark fish. Oh, here it comes. Hey, oh! Oh, he don't like it. Ooh. So, what's up, dog? Uh-uh. Some aggressive behavior. It's a good sign. Looks like we might be able to get this fish to bite. It's spun on it pretty aggressively. A couple one eighties on it. Got the talons down. Settled in here. Hard to make out this fish with a little bit of a breeze, but. This is the one we rely on line watching. Oh. Wine. He's got it. Wine. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that's. Oh. See how it turned? He just lost tension for just a second. Fines. Let it fall. Let it fall. Oh, he's going to get it. Oh, gosh. You're letting it fall on a tight line and it's penduluming back to you. Let it fall straight down on a slack line. Okay. See how it's coming way too much towards you? Yep. So pop it up vertically like that to draw its attention. Like let it fall like just on a slack line, just like that. Now pop it. And when you pop it, just drop your odd tip. So you, have, you throw slack in your line and it falls straight down. You're not moving it out of its zone. See the difference? Yep. Oh, and just be ready. Just give it a pop the slack. There you go. So now that you've kind of educated this fish a little bit, we might have to switch baits. Oh, or not. No. Here. A little color change can be everything. Thanks. I call this a hazardon exchange program. Went from this uh, chartreuse green pumpkin. Big shout out to the Big Bass Dreams Canada boys. They love this color. Put something a little bit more visible on there. But showing that fish just something a little bit different. He seemed to not like that straight up and down action. It really seems to aggravate him. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let it sink all the way to the bottom on that slack line and then just pop that slack one time. Like that. He's eyeballing it. Turning. Oh, 
made a move. He spun on it, he's eyeballing it. You bring any of those uh, sight pinks with you? I don't have any of those sight pinks. <sighs> I don't know where mine are. I hate that pink color sometimes. Oh, he's got it. Wine, wine, wine. Oh. Did he take the bait? Yo. <laughs> oh, what's up, Looney? All Looney Tunes here. Let's try to go back to this thing. Shout out to Scotty Blair, Joey DiCenzo, the rest of the Big Bass Dreams Canada squad. We're going to try your favorite bait for big, small mouth. Oh, oh, he turned on it. Where did the white one go is my question. Did he eat it? I think so. I never saw him spit it out. Because <laughs> they float. Short aggressive hops. Oh, get ready. If you feel anything, just start winding. One pop. Oh, he's got it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, bro. What is going on here? He just keeps taking your hands of dogs. I have never seen that before. He's taking two of the white ones. Oh my gosh. You gotta wind fast when I say he's yeah. got it. This fish is, is embarrassing. Oh, don't worry, we're only 15 minutes, 31 seconds in. Shot number four. This is number five. Oh, man. No, don't swing. Oh. Why are you swinging? That's three hazardongs he's taken from you. Don't swing. Nothing has changed. You just got to wind. All right. Wind and lift. You gotta refocus. Refocus. What is going on? He is literally eating. Wow, oh, this is great. Get my fill. All right, come on. Focus right. here. Wait, 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 wait. Pop the bait without moving the weight. You're a little bit too close. One more time. Yeah, just smooth motion. Turn the rod to the right. Just don't stop winding. He's got it. Wine, 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 wine. Get penetrate. Yep. There you go. Stay one direction. One direction. Nice. There you go. Look at that big, beautiful smiley, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, dude. That was like a rookie. That fish was getting the best of you oh, for a dude. second, man. That, that fish didn't get the best of me. That fish beat me up. I had sex with my girlfriend, became my new dad, and everything else. Yeah, that's the biggest of the day. Oh, dude. Yep. And, then, and then it's got four hazard on Chad. Dude, that's Still crazy. Me. I can't believe she ate all of those hazard on Chad. Well, uh, kind of missed the release shot, <laughs> but we might have got the fish shatting all over my sea deck. Thank goodness for Sea Deck, all right? You want to take that home as a souvenir? No. Sure. Just keep it up here. That's great. Oh, chopsticks. Oh, oh, it's smudgy. Oh. Oh, come on, man. Oh, all of you just threw it right on top of her head.
Take that with you. Oh, oh thank goodness. It's all crayfish, it. though. Yeah, taste it. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather really get. I'd rather really get. Oh man, talk to us, bro. What happened there? What was going on? Like that fish made you work for it. Perseverance. Uh, got a little premature. Didn't trust you. Didn't go fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that could have went wrong did go wrong. Oh man. But luckily, must have did something right. Yeah, kind of went right. Get a little luck. Finally, what fifth fifth try? Yeah. Fifth it, hook up. So. Good times to try, right? That's right. Definitely keyed on the white bait. Yeah, it's More interesting. So than the other ones. Now, color can be such a uh, triggering factor. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, because I thought for sure that green green pumpkin is always my go-to. Yep. I thought for sure they would pop that, but. Well, let's see if we can find any of our baits floating because that was our last one. <laughs> uh, all right. If you guys are enjoying yourselves, please do us a solid. Subscribe to the channel. You see more giant smallmouth like that guy sitting there, a little traumatized. He'll be all right.